Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. My name is Anna Rachel Hijabi. Ramadan, Mubarak everybody. Ramadan, Ramadan Kareem. I hope you guys are all having an amazing Ramadan. And we are two weeks into Ramadan. It's going to be three weeks next week. So I hope you guys are doing really well. Please make sure you guys keep up the same spirit that you had at the beginning of Ramadan. I know when it, you know, when it's the second week, third week, people's like kind of have like a little bit of a, you know, kind of feeling. Make sure that feeling's... You know what I mean? We are going to be making some banana bread because I have a lot of ripe bananas. Guys, look at all these ripe bananas. Like literally guys, can you guys see how ripe these bananas are? I didn't want to throw them in the bin even though they're like extremely ripe. Um, so I wanted to create one of my favourite things to eat and that's banana bread. I love banana bread. I love chocolate chip banana bread. I like it when it's moist inside. Like I love it. Like I love the whole... So we're going to attempt to make it today. We're going to do like a bake with me and talk with me kind of episode. The first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to get ourselves some bowls. I don't really have any clear bowls. I just have this huge bowl, okay? And we're going to use this, uh, we're going to peel our ripe bananas. They should just peel, bismillah. They should just peel off like <laughs> easily. Um, it's giving emotional ab awareness for bananas because it's easy to peel back. If there was a fruit, yeah, that you guys could be, what fruit would it be? Like, you know when you have that job interviews and they're like, oh, like, <sighs> tell us something interesting about yourself and you're just thinking to yourself, okay, what did Google tell us to say? Oh, um, that we're an over-perfectionist. Um, apart from what you see on my CV, that's about it really. I don't know what else. I'm just still trying to make sure that I um, remember everything I wrote in my CV. But if there was like a fruit or like a vegetable you could be, what would it be? I know a lot of people say that there would be um, an onion. Why? Because there's so many layers to me. <laughs> oh, imagine if I had, like there was an interview and someone said to me, oh, like, I would like to be an onion because there's so many layers to me. All I can think about is, yo, that's like one of the most smelliest vegetables there is. Um, this one is a bit too like, I don't know if I should add this part, but like my mum would be like, make sure you add that because that's probably the best part. Let's just look at all the others. Like this one is like extremely dark. It looks a little bit like, but look how right that is, man. Anyways, yeah, so what vegetable would you be? I personally, um, like you know when you I don't even know like what vegetables are there in the world I'd be like um I don't know probably like a banana or something <laughs> uh because at the beginning it's hard right and then the longer it sits it becomes sweeter <laughs> just like my personality comment down below I think I'm adding too much banana but I ain't got no choice because there's nothing else I could do with these bananas okay I could just like Look how the way they're peeling like, mashallah. You know, I've been in Dubai now for a week and when I tell you guys, I've loved every single second of the experience. I wish they had like compost, you know when they recycle vegetables, they do that in Wales, but they don't do that here. So you just have to throw them inside the bin and then like you have to throw the bin out. Do you know what I mean? Just keep washing your hands. I'm using a fork because I don't have a mashup. Actually, no, I do, I have this. Look, look, let me show you guys, look, this is what I bought. Okay, you put it, anyway, okay, anyway, look. We're gonna mash this down using a fork. I feel like I added too much bananas, guys. Yep, it's giving, you've added so much bananas. You've added, but the way it mashes down, right? It's like, it mashes down so like, smoothly. We're gonna melt the butter in our pan because I don't know how to use this microwave, guys. I've been here a week and I don't even know how to use this microwave. I know, it's embarrassing, right? <laughs> embarrassing. But at the end of the day, we move. Um, unsalted butter, cut it in half. You know with butter, I never know how much to add. So I always add what I think other people would add. <laughs> and that's a massive column of butter. I could just use this because it is soft. But at the end of the day, I just want a simple life because... <coughs> I'm a simple girl, do you know what I mean? Like, simplicity is the easiest way to life. Guys, imagine today, yeah? I'm gonna do that for a bit. Imagine today I went to Tarawih, right? And on the right of me, it was a woman that was crying non-stop. Why don't you guys, do you guys put eggs in the fridge? Because I do. 
I shouldn't be because realistically, the chick, what, the chicken. We're not gonna go into that. What comes first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> Obviously, the chicken, guys, because there's clearly a genetic, genetic, um, something. Should we add one egg or two egg? Because we have a lot of mash. Oh, no, no. Chill, bro. Let's turn that down. Uh, should we add one egg or two egg? One egg or two egg? One egg or two egg? Because this is our tin. It's gonna taste so banana -y. I know 100%. That's why I'm gonna add bare chocolate. Where is it? Where is it? I'm gonna add two eggs actually. Grab the egg. No, I'm gonna crack the egg in another pan because I can't survive knowing that the gooey things are inside. Do you know what I mean? You know that gooey thing? I can't. It, it, it irritates my soul. Like, you know, if there was like a, like ever a challenge, like if, like. I don't even want to talk about what it reminds me of. We're gonna add one egg or two egg. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna add that one egg, man. Like, or should I add two eggs? If I add two eggs, yeah, it's gonna taste eggy and banana -y. Nah, nah, nah. We're gonna add our egg. Like that. Mix that in. We don't want to do too much mixing, you know? Yeah, this is enough. And this needs to cool down, first and foremost, because imagine pouring this in. Oh, look at that, look at that. Look how melted that cheat that butter is. We're gonna wait for it to cool down because I don't want the eggs to be turning into what's that thing called? What's that thing called? What's that thing called? Oh, let's get our vanilla. Guys, I bought this, but I don't know what it is. <gasps> this nearly broke. What is this? I think it's like I don't know. It's in a different language. I got it from an Italian shop. It's giving powder for the top. Why is it not in English though? Does anybody know what this is? I think it's a vanilla icing powder. I'm so glad that we're not fasting right now so I can taste this. Oh, look at this. It's moving like it's. Bismillah. It tastes like vanilla paracetamol. And we're going to add a bit of it to this. We're only adding one sachet. And we're going to add some vanilla extract. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. Relax. Don't do it. Put yourself into it. Relax. Don't do it. Bro. Oh my god, I forgot to even. <coughs> Yo, are you trying to. I don't know how my companies create something here yeah, that, like, it's like difficult to open. Like, you need to know your average consumer is a woman, especially in the kitchen. Let's be realistic. Suffragettes and that. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Why is it taking so long to open? Like, why is it that I have to like slide everything? <laughs> yeah, finally. Oh, I forgot to add some uh, sugar. We have some brown sugar. It's called Demiria. Uh, it's a female version of dementia. Sakula, sakula. And we just add this. Okay. We're going to be adding about 600 grams. Yeah, that's about 600 grams. Call your nan. I said 600 grams. Let's add our butter. Mm hmm. Butter. Oh, got the butter in the sauce in the pot. I got the butter in the sauce in the pot. I got the butter. And then we're gonna add our vanilla. We forgot to add our vanilla. We're gonna add a little bit of vince. Villa. Oops. <laughs> Mix that in. That looks absolutely <laughs> sensational. <laughs> Asial. <Ay>! Hey! <laughs> sensational. Asial. Hey! <laughs> look at this, man. Just look at this. Like, there's nobody that can make something as great as this. Like, me. Now what we're going to add is we're going to be adding our dry ingredients and some all-purpose flour, uh -huh. um, um, baking powder, bicarbonate of soda. I'm adding my order cinnamon powder. Look how big this is. I order cinnamon powder. Look how big this is. <laughs> Look how big this is. It, it, it is. I do have a weight. Whoa, hair showing for the. I'm going to be weighing out the flour. <laughs> Call me Betty Kruger. <laughs> Call me Betty Jarby. Okay, so we need approximately 180 grams. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 180 
180 grams. What unit is this in? Oh yeah, that, I was thinking to myself like 75, we need 180. This reminds me of back in the day when I used to work in a lab. <laughs> 180 plus or minus 5 grams. We're going to add our flour to the mix. Check you out. The reason why I did plus or minus 5 grams is because usually there is some on the side. We were adding one tablespoon of baking powder. One tablespoon of baking powder. We have to add half a tablespoon of bicarbonated of soda. It says here, baking... <clears throat> Making baking fun since 1891. I said making baking fun since 1891. I said making baking fun since 1891. Baking soda. I think that's enough, you know, because we only need a small amount of baking soda. So it's a quarter of a half. <laughs> what does that make? Carbonated soda, quarter and a half. Yes, yeah, so I went to Global Village the other day. Absolutely amazing. I had iftar in a few places. They filled up to the top too. That's enough, in it? Cinnamon powder. I'm measuring everything out, do you see? Can you guys see, like, I'm trying to measure everything out? We do have a tablespoon of salt. That's half a tablespoon of salt, right? Guys, this is how it looks. And now we mix. Okay, mix. Okay, this looks fantabulastic. Oi. Um, let's preheat the oven, guys, because um, it needs to be hot when I put the food in. You get me? Okay, the oven's preheated. Chocolate chips, we're going to be adding a bit of it into the mix. These are dark chocolate chips, by the way. We don't need um, milk chocolate chips <laughs> because um, I heard that dark chocolate chips makes you happier. I'm going to add a bit like that. Nice. You guys know I don't bake, so um, I hope that just comes out all right. I feel like this is like the most easiest. I, pers I personally feel like this is the most easiest thing to bake. If this doesn't come out all right, guys, me, you, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to a coloring, coloring, coloring school um, and learn how to bake because <laughs> this needs to come out all right. Okay, this is our tray. I don't think it's going to fit all of this in. So what you do is, do I add baking sheet or should I, can I just add a bit of butter to the sides? Butter to the sides, eh? Yeah. We you think I like? I'm going to grab a dollop of butter. <laughs> going to grab some butter. This is already clean, by the way. I did clean this. <sighs> to the sides. <clears throat> like that. And then around the sides, make sure you guys get all corners. <laughs> I feel like that's all right, right? In it, that's all right, in it. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Okay, so uh, let's clear up our area, and then we're gonna pour that in there because as soon as I pour this in there, I'm sticking it on the oven. And to be honest with you guys, you know one thing I hate? It's cleaning. Oh. O M to the G G G G D. I hope that this is all right. <laughs> I hope when we uh, make our food, we have no issues. Recently, like during the month of Ramadan, I have noticed that I can't eat a lot of food, and so in Dubai, there's a lot of buffets. Like you can find a buffet everywhere, but I really struggle with. Um, eating a lot especially like as soon as I break fast I can't eat a lot I could only eat a small amount of food I generally can't eat a lot guys because I just don't think my my body is used to that so um, my, my thing during Ramadan is I eat a small amount and then after I break my fast after I go to Tarawih then after that like after after all of that I chill for a bit and then about about um, I think about like midnight, that's when I eat food. I know, right? Guys, you know the weirdest thing happened today when I went to that with, right? I don't think it's weird, but like, it was something that really bothered me today. There was a lady that kept yawning, like, <clears throat> you know when you yawn, yeah? You yawn like this, like. 
My girl decided to go like this. I was so mortified, yeah? Because when you're praying, you shouldn't be like going. She shouldn't be doing that. She shouldn't be doing that. And then there was, a, there was another lady. I think someone died in her family or something. She was so emotional throughout the prayer. And like, it got to the point where like, I couldn't concentrate, she, all I kept hearing. And I was just like, I didn't know what to say because if it was me in that situation, I don't want anyone to chat to me. Do you know what I mean? When you're crying, I don't want you to, 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 to I don't want you to talk to me, just leave me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just want to cry in peace. So I looked at her, I, was, I really wanted to say, sister, are you okay? But I didn't, I just was like, you know what? I get, people are going through things in their lives. Okay, that, um, is a gas oven, so it's already like super super duper to do to do to do to do super duper do to do to do to acid super duper do to do. Anyways, look at our beautiful mix. Yeah, tell me a baker that's better than this. This is probably gonna taste amazing, amazing, amazing. We're gonna stop. We're gonna stop because we are not gonna go there. Okay, let's do this. Look at that, look at that. Like that. Okay, and then while we have that there, we're gonna add some chocolate chip on the top. Add some chocolate chip on the side. Upon the replay. Put some there, put some there, put some there. And then I see people do this. This looks amazing, isn't it? Guys, stop it! Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Yes, it does look amazing. What we're gonna do now is the oven is on. I'm getting hot myself to be frankly honest with you. Um, it's a gas oven. The only issue I have with this oven is, yeah. Oh, it is hot. We're gonna stick it in now, put it here. And there it is. Come on, baby. I put it on. So guys, we're supposed to put on 180 uh, for about 50 minutes. This is gonna tell us 50, where's 50? Let's just say for 55, that's 50, right? 45, 50, 55, 60. We'll put it for 40, 55 minutes, the timer. Have a little bit of a break and I'll see you guys in 55 minutes. Don't miss me too much. And if you guys want to, smash the like button and tell a friend to tell a friend that we are baking a cake of bread. <coughs> Boom, guys, this looks absolutely amazing. We're going to turn off the heat. Oops, one, two. The heat has been off. Let's check if this is ready. What we're going to do is we're going to do a little test. Oh, this looks amazing. Put this inside. If it comes out clear, then it's ready. Uh, this is clear. I'm going to leave it in here to cool down. But mashallah. All I can say is, how does this look? Just look at this. So this is how it looks now. This looks absolutely plastically amazing. I really enjoyed this. Like it's a quick video of me baking something or cooking something. Like I loved it. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, I just hope the bottom is not burnt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up the sides. I'm so excited to eat this. And you know the great thing about it is, I'll be eating alone every day. I'll be eating some. It's just to loosen it up, right? loosen up the sides. Give it a good shake. <laughs> Have you ever seen those like those Chinese people? I don't even know if they're Chinese, but I'm making an assumption. Okay, when they go like this, <sighs> oh, you guys can't see, but it's great that you guys can't see because it'll be a little bit inappropriate to be looking downwards. Do you know what I mean? But they, they do this like thing where they just like move around their bellies and I look at them and I'm thinking, raw bro, if I shake my belly like that, it'll feel like a whole earthquake. <laughs> Anyways, let's, um, let's get this. Okay, and then we slap it. You know how people do that slap? It? What did I make? Um, is it called a magaloub? I don't know what it is, but. It's falling. It's falling. Oh my god. Oops. Put that like that. Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna grab a little, gonna cut a little bit of a slide. Oh, check this out, just look at that. I think I'm gonna get into baking. Yeah, 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 I think I'm gonna get into baking. I think I'm gonna start baking more things. Yeah, like imagine baking, you know what I've always wanted to bake, like a fairy cake. <gasps> imagine a fairy cake with like fake teeth all around. Like the, you know, like a tooth fairy when, when she comes. Collects her teeth and like, and then there's a pound under your pillow. Let's cut this now. Just doing too much chain. Do you see how that just went down? Bismillah. Ooh. Oh, is that you? Is that me? Look at how mo it's even moist, like. Bismillah. This. Tastes perfect. Sugar level, amazing. Banana, might be slightly a bit too much bananas, but I feel like you can't really taste it because of all the chocolate and the cinnamon, I can taste the cinnamon too. Mm. I love the fact that it's crispy. I love, I love the fact that it's crispy. Let's mm -mm. Dark chocolate tastes actually amazing. I feel like if I had milk chocolate, it would have tasted a bit too much, a bit too sweet. But this tastes absolutely amazing. I could do with some vanilla ice cream. I don't have vanilla ice cream, I have some pistachio coffee. Banging, this is bang. And some twister. This, I usually have this around like 3 o'clock, 3 a.m., just before iftar, uh, supper. But this is so good, mashallah. Mm mm. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm actually gonna do more of this. I'm gonna start thinking what I'm gonna make tomorrow. What should I make tomorrow? Comment down below what you guys want me to make tomorrow because I love cooking, but I don't wanna make too much things because it's just me um, that's gonna be eating it. This banana bread, no dessert because this is gonna last me about three days. I'm being 100% honest with you guys, this will last me three days. So um, I think I might make a dish tomorrow or something, but I don't, I don't know. But comment down below what you guys want to see me make. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you guys like my outfit. I bought this from the Global Village. That video will be out um, probably like after this, a day or two, I'm not too sure. But comment down below what you guys want me to make next. Please, guys, give this video a like. And Ramadan Kareem. Ramadan Kareem. Ramadan, make sure you guys are praying, make sure you guys are fasting, make sure you guys are giving a lot of charity and I will link below some charities you guys can donate to, okay? And I'll see you guys on the next one. Ramadan Mubad, let's give us, uh, come just give a hug, quick, hug me, sorry.